Welcome back to another Thunkable tip. My name is Donal and in this one we're going to continue on our series on the floating action buttons by creating a fab menu. So obviously as you've seen what's going to happen is when we click on the large fab at the bottom we'll get two smaller ones pop up above it. So in order to create two more fabs all we do drag and drop in there's floating action button two and three. What we can do then is Rather than have them as the default size, we want to make, make them slightly smaller. So we're going to use the mini button size and the mini button size. If you like, then maybe what we can do is make them a slightly different color. So let's go with light blue for both of those as well, so that they appear, you know, similar, similar um, color, but in a lighter shade when they pop up. Then we, what we have to do is create our icons. So we're um, we're using the add uh, icon here. I'll change it over to icon add. So let's go back to blue and add. So we were playing around with that there in the previous video. If you haven't watched it yet, I recommend you check it out. And the add icon comes from material.io forward slash icons. So that's it there. Any icon that you find in this website, you can use. So you could have add, add box, add circle, for instance. Uh, and in the previous one we used remove, but let's go, let's say we're making a kind of a photography app. Um, so we can have camera, camera front, this camera roll is quite nice, photo camera, camera alt, so photo camera here, let's say for instance. Uh, if we want to add this in, it's photo underscore camera. So for the first one, let's say we want to add in a new um, picture, a new static photo, it'll be... Um, photo underscore camera underscore camera and then let's make the top button then for a new video let's say and if we go with that there's a few different options here I think I'll go with this one and it's just video cam which is all one word so we don't need the IC part of the name it's just video cam like this. Now the problem is if we were to look at this in our live testing app which I have open here all of the uh, fabs all of the buttons get kind of placed on top of each other here so we've got the newest one here fab 3 is at the top fab 2 is underneath that and we can see because fab 1 is a bit larger that it's underneath uh, sticking out at the bottom so in order to fix that we need to change the padding for um, floating action button 2. Everything is, the padding for all of these is measured from the bottom of the screen. So we have to measure up here. Uh, it's 72, uh, like that. So these smaller ones are 40 by 40, and the larger one is uh, 56 by 56 um, dp. So for the second one then, 144, like that. Um, let's have a look now. Okay, so that's, that's pretty good. Uh, we can actually do a little bit more space there, so when we pop that one up to 80 and the main difficulty here is that these are kind of too close to the edge we'd like everything centered so let's change fab 2 that should be 80 I think instead and then to have it centered we need to add on also another 8 dp to this padding uh, so that should be 24 and then this one should be uh, 144 looks okay we can make them a little bit closer if we want we'll go with 24 is the magic number to get them centered on the screen like that so that's pretty good and even if we wanted here we could move it up another maybe three or four get them a little bit closer move this one down a tiny bit maybe i'll move that one down a little bit so we'll set it at 140 maybe rather than 144. Uh, again good idea to kind of plan these things out in advance and um, kind of draw out a little diagram for yourself so let's add that up to here and that'll fit, essentially move them yeah, okay, so they're not, I don't know, I don't think they're perfectly spaced, but they're good enough to test out, and that's what we want to do here. So when we click on the plus button, we're going to uh, display these two, and then when we click on it again, the uh, two smaller icons are going to disappear. Okay, so let's jump into our code. We'll have some old blocks from the previous video here. So rather than doing the same idea, we're going to need if else. Let's start, start again from scratch. So when floating action button one is clicked that's the very first one up here that we have we're going to do a quick check to see whether or not our smaller um, fabs are visible so if fab 2 is visible then what we can do is hide fab 2 and fab 3 like this so set that to false and then again we can duplicate very quickly and very easily to do the same thing for fab 3 
and then if they're invisible then we're gonna set them to be visible again on the screen like this so don't forget then to change so if you're copying and pasting you usually have to update some blocks like that let's have a quick look here see how so they're showing at the moment this should make them disappear like that and clicking on it again makes them appear so that's all there is to creating a little um, uh, fab menu like this um, and you can do the same thing there there's there's no really need I don't think to go into too much more detail with this if we click this one we can maybe set our title to be new photo and so if you are creating a, a camera app or um, something like that you could uh, of course open up the camera take a picture and you could open up the video start recording something like that as well for the user so camera and then for the other one then this will say uh, video three video like this over here so oh this is my live testing here okay so there's the camera there's the video that makes it go away camera video we can toggle back and forth between them like that okay so that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching all the way to the end if you've liked it click the like button if you want to see more click on subscribe and the notification bell will make sure that you are the first to know when a new video is released uh, if you have any questions in relation to using the fab uh, let me know in the comments section below and i will try and get around to your questions as quickly as i can thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video